Do you ever think of settling down, Bill? Occasionally. Lately? A little. With Emily? Probably. She's a good woman. Yeah, she is. I've got it. You do? Yep, I'm Luigi. You are? Yes. Okay, good to know. This business about you being a pessimist and wanting to stay single and not wanting to ruin our friendship, it's bullshit. What's really going on here has nothing to do with that and has everything to do with your fear of change. Really? Yes. It's like that time you didn't want to go to Luigi's. I thought you were Luigi. Luigi's Pizza. You didn't want to go to Luigi's because you liked Mario's. Every Friday night you eat at Mario's, Mario's is your routine and you hate to break your routine. Well, Mario's has great pizza. So does Luigi's. I know that. You know that now. So? You know that now because I made you go to Luigi's one Friday night and try their pizza. You didn't make me. I made you and you realized you liked it. You liked it and you integrated it into your world. You co-opted the idea of Luigi's and reinvented yourself to the extent that you now frequent two pizza joints. What is your point? I'm Luigi. Alex, you're Polish. You being single is like only going to Mario's, but if you actually made the leap and started dating me, it would be like realizing that there are two pizza joints in your life. Well, that's assuming your pizza's any good. Except that dating me isn't really making a leap, is it? I mean, we're basically already dating. We see each other like three times a week. We have dinner. We go to the movies. We do crossword puzzles together. I mean, all we're really talking about here is a little added smooching and an extra phone call or two, and voila, we're dating. I'm not sure it's really that simple, Alex. Listen, I'm wild about you. You're the most interesting, smart, funny, exciting woman I've met, maybe ever. I will not stand by here and let your loopy OCD routines keep us from the happiness that we deserve. How many times did you rehearse that? A few. Did it come out the way you wanted? Not really. Look, Alex, I'm wild about you too. You're awesome and I love you. I just think I need to stay single for a while. All right, look, here's what I suggest. Uh, just bear with me, it's kind of a radical idea. What is it? I'm gonna leave. You are? Yes, except that this time, instead of our usual hug goodnight, we should kiss. And not some intense romance novel, phantasmagorical face-mashing tongue bath, but not a peck on the cheek either. Just a kiss, lengthy enough to be imbued with all of the potential of a new romance, but brief enough to keep us wanting more. Just a nice, simple, tender, perfect kiss. Oh. Then on Wednesday, when we do crossword night, we don't do anything out of the ordinary. We meet, we drink coffee, we do the crossword. Then when we say goodnight, we have another perfect kiss. And then what? Nothing, that's it. Two kisses? That's your radical idea? Yeah, don't you get it? That's it. That's all that needs to happen to take us from being friends to being dating, kissing instead of hugging goodnight. Bingo, done. Then after a week or two, we can see how we like things. We can choose to up the ante a bit and intensify things or not. We can uh, just keep doing the goodnight kiss thing or we can decide it's not working out too well and then, and then we're back to where we are now. What have we got to lose? Right now, that's all. And then we can decide on Wednesday if we want to try it again. What do you say? One kiss. One perfect kiss. Oh, okay, no pressure or anything. No. You just want perfection on the first try. No, you don't understand. You, you just have to be a willing participant. I'll take care of the perfection. Right, you're Luigi. Bellissima, signora. So one perfect kiss and then you'll leave? I'm out the door, I swear. You know, this is our first kiss. What? Well, as of right now, we've never kissed before. And in five seconds, we'll never be able to say that again. Forget it. I just thought we should, you know, be reverent of the moment. Mm-hmm.